Blottentots and How to Make Them by John Prosper Carmel. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Ruth Golding. Oh, I am Prince of the Inky Imps and King of the Blottentot crew. My ancestry has a pedigree of a royal purplish hue. Once my lot was a dark blue spot flipped on a milk-white sea. A crease and a fold, and a buccaneer bold out-jumped, and that was me. If you've never made a blot and tot, this book will help you quite a lot. How to Make Blot and Tots to make a funny blot and tot, first take a piece of paper, splash on some ink, a single spot, crease, press, but cut no caper. Don't crease exactly at the blot, you'll have a fearful muddle. Press gently too, and not a lot, unless you want a puddle. With everything we humans do, practice makes us apter, so start at once. You'll find it true at the end of your first chapter. A Flit Flit Flitter In the realms of Wonderland such flies do gaily flitter, but when they're just a blot of ink of course they cannot glitter. They flitter, flutter round about these flitter, flitter, flitters, o oh, dewy, flowery, sunny meads, the lightest, brightest critters. A Gobble Me Up Weedy, greedy, gobble me up. Your mouth is a fearful size. Do you live on little girls and boys, or merely cakes and pies? Two bucking nightmares. Two bucking nightmares ran out to neigh, thinking it night, but found it day. So took to their heels in sore dismay. I'm afraid they still are running away. Strange but true. Now it seems to be scarcely credible, a difficult thing to think, that such a strange grotesquerie was pressed from a drop of ink. But word for word, I tell you, as true as word can be, that in its making there was naught but the blindest chancery. Lawmakers. Tom and Johnny make the law talkative and lazy. Standing on a thingamajig, comical and crazy. You are just a pair of imps, with but one leg that badly limps. Mistress Nell. Gadzooks, Nell Gwynne, how did you get in? Did you walk or were you brought in your chair? Your dress is perfection to the smallest section of stomacher, quilting and hair. A professional tiff. Said Dr. Spindleshanks, I'll stand no silly pranks. You're nothing but a prig, said Dr. Funnywig. Then making each a face, they went off at a pace. Safe at a distance. You big bugaboo, we didn't want you. But really, now that you've come, if you keep far away, we'll permit you to stay. Just as long as you keep quite dumb. Teeny and Tiny Teeny and Tiny Pug Noses have discovered two beautiful roses, but the stems are so tall they can't reach them at all, though they stand on the tips of their toeses. Impish You can see by the look of this big-footed sprite that just the one thing that affords him delight is to give a high jump and land on your toe on the very same spot where the biggest corns grow. A little grass midget. This is a little grass midget, as you know, a most terrible fidget. For a month every year he makes it quite clear that he is a little grass midget. Siamese twins. I hope they're on pegs, because if they're legs, they are altogether shocking. They have no feet, and almost meet, and haven't the sign of a stocking. A Kangaroosteroo 
Why, here's our dear old hopper, our kangaroosteroo, and seeing he's such a whopper, I'll certainly not say shoo. Then there are two, you see, so I'd better hold my peace, or they may sit on me and leave me a crumpled crease. A surprise. A squidgy cumsquee got up in a tree and found another, the fat simile. Oh dear, who oh my? he said, jumping high. It's surely my brother. What a horrible guy. Considerate. You jump over to me, said Sue. I wish you would come to me, said Lou. As sure as I jump, I'll kick that stump, so really I'd rather let you. Risky. Now this is just the funniest rogue, a brownie as black as ink. And what he's doing perched up there, I'm sure I cannot think. He's holding his arms like a pair of sails. Perhaps he's trying to fly. Let's hope he won't be playing that game when you and I pass by. Doggerel. Here are the strangest pair of dogs, what sort I cannot tell. But judging by their noses sharp, they have the sense of smell. Their tails are very, very long, but does it really matter? By the very way they stare and start, they're mad as any hatter. A warning. Are these quumps or zagabogs, gollywogs or queese? Anyhow, you'd best look out. They're just about to sneeze. The latest discovery. I've just discovered a marvellous way of making these blottentots mottled and grey. If you promise you never will show anyone, I'll tell you the secret of how it is done. Take two bottles of ink, one thick and one thin, of different blacks, and dip your pen in. From each splash a drop at the very same spot, then do as before, only pressing a lot. Sorry, Griggs. What makes these little Griggs so sad? They're standing most dejected. Have they been up to something bad, and in it got detected? Lanky Doodle Lanky Doodle came to town without his little pony, stuck a feather in his hat with bits of macaroni. The Dance Jingle your bells and your tambourine for just such a dance as you never have seen, such swishing of skirts and glancing of feet, such bowing and parting then running to meet. So jingle your bells and your tambourine, and keep them a-dancing from morning till e'en. Look out for him. He's flying in the air, so you are safe and sound, but you had better skip when he lights upon the ground. Macbeth, Act One, Scene One. When shall we two meet again, in thunder, lightning, or in rain, when the hurly-burly's done, when the battle's lost and won. Perplexing. A queer little wight, very strangely dight, looked so much like his brother that, believe me, it's true, no one ever knew how to tell one from t'other. Merely accidental. Such angular shapes in such beautiful capes are the silliest contradiction, but they simply came, so I'm not to blame. With Blottentots there's no restriction. Birds of a feather. Now really, it is shocking, irately said Miss B, to think that you are mocking and making fun of me. You have your wings and rufflings the very same as I, so you need not turn your nose up with a twinkle in your eye. A deduction. Pluck a duck of a wing, alack, he'll quack and not sing. An oversight. Two rabbits met and shook hands one day in the gravest possible kind of a way. But what was the cause of their serious mien from our picture is not very easily seen. 
they'd been jollier far if they'd stopped to sup the honeyed mead from the buttercup. Quite the thing. Words fail to detail, I can only smile. Your salute is cute and just perfect style. Quaint and queer. Quaint and queer, a funny pair, the funniest you could see, met one day in a strange array, the strangest that could be. Each stood and stared as if he feared that he would get a poke, but laughed to find the other kind and thought it all a joke. Finest. Before I had some cassowaries, now I have two dromedaries, so just to leave some shapes for you, I'll doff my cap and say, Adieu. End of Blot and Tots and How to Make Them by John Prosper Carmel.